Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Inside the Vinyl. I'm your host, Tim Bianconi. If you would go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel below, that would be greatly appreciated. If you could also hit that notification bell so you could be notified when we put out new content, that would be appreciated also. So uh, I'm a couple days late on this. Um, unfortunately, I've had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out where I'm going to film these videos from. Uh, but today I want to open up the new uh, gold edition of White Snake's The Purple Album. Uh, so this album, it's a little weird that there's a reissue on this given that the original was just released in 2015. However, this reissue was uh, released to coincide with the 50th anniversary of David Coverdale's joining Deep Purple. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy, see what we got. All right. This is the special gold edition of the White Snake Purple album. So for those unfamiliar with this album, uh, he went back and re-recorded White Snake versions of several of his Deep Purple songs. Um, and this new box set, or this new set, I should say, uh, I think the CD is two CDs. Uh, it has some live stuff, uh, some alternate versions, and I don't know what this comes with. Um, yeah, I don't see it on here, but the CD version actually comes with the original demo tape uh, that he used that he sent to Deep Purple to get the job with Deep Purple as their singer. So that's kind of cool. So if you're not interested in vinyl, just know that the uh, CD as well as the digital versions uh, do have some additional stuff not available on this vinyl here. All right, so let's see if we can get this open. Hey, look at that. I got a corner. All right, let me keep this hype sticker and let's see what it says if I can read it. Uh, so celebrating the 50th anniversary of David Coverdale's Deep Purple debut, lovingly enhanced uh, 2015 album for limited edition gold vinyl, two LPs featuring newly recorded and remixed classics originally recorded by Deep Purple uh, Mark III and Mark IV lineups. So that's pretty cool. All right, so here we go. Here is the cover again. Again, going right along with his revisited, remixed, and remastered set that he's pretty much done with all his other albums, uh, most of them uh, since Slide It In. So there's the front cover. Uh, there's the back cover with White Snake as they were in 2015 and a track list. All right, and if we open up the gatefold, oh cool. We open up the gatefold, we get uh, another picture of the band, as well as, um, looks like just some liner notes and maybe some, uh, some commentary and some different things on the actual songs on the record. And I'm sure he reflects on his 50 years, um, you know, since uh, becoming the singer for Deep Purple, which of course led to, you know, eventually led to him uh, forming Whitesnake. Um, so yeah, let's get, take a look and see what we have uh, for the vinyls themselves. Uh, again, this is a special gold edition, so if I'm not mistaken, these vinyls are gold colored, which is kind of cool. All right, so if we take out the first sleeve, it uh, looks like uh, just some reprints of some handwritten lyrics. Uh, let's see. Yeah, coming out of nowhere, driving like rain, Stormbringer, was it Stormbringer Dance on the Thunder again? Yeah. So some handwritten lyrics for uh, Stormbringer, so that's really cool. All right, and if we pull the record out, Ooh, we do see gold splatter vinyl. Hopefully the splatter comes through on that. I'm not really sure, uh, but that's really cool. So, you know, White Snake Purple album sticker in the middle on the first side, and then a track listing on the sticker on the second side. So that's, that's pretty fancy. Yeah. All right, so I imagine the second record looks the same, but we'll see what the sleeve looks like over there. Is there anything else in here? There's not. All right, let me just see if there's anything else. Nope. All right. And again, more handwritten lyrics. Uh, I've always heard stories about these guys write lyrics on anything from notebook paper to like napkins from their hotel rooms and stuff. So I guess you just have to go with whatever you have when inspiration strikes. So, uh, and again, like I said, I'm pretty sure this record probably looks the same. And it does if I can get it out of here. <laughs> again, same white snake sticker in the middle, same track listing on the other side. All right. So yeah, so this is really cool. So, just some thoughts on this record. So I'm, I'm really glad, even though it's out of order, um, you know, I thought Forevermore, maybe some other things were gonna come out first. Uh, so even though it's out of order and this album's only eight years old, I'm pretty stoked that he actually went back and remixed this because my biggest issue when this came out in 2015, I was really excited for it because I love his era of Deep Purple and I love Whitesnake, um, but I did not like this album when it first came out. I thought the mix or the production, I'm not really sure what's what, I'm assuming it's the mix. Uh, it was just not very good. You know, I didn't feel like the low end was much there. The drums weren't very high in the mix. There wasn't a lot of low end with bass guitar and stuff that you could really hear, at least in my opinion. 
Um, so far from what I've heard from these, because uh, I did download a couple of digital tracks and I have downloaded the entire digital album with the extra bonus stuff. Uh, so far, he gave it the treatment that he's given uh, several other albums, like uh, most recently, uh, Good To Be Bad, as well as Restless Heart. Uh, and some of those, he gave them that treatment, the same treatment he gave on his Red, White, and Blue set. Uh, so the sound is really, really full now. Um, I haven't heard the whole thing. I've only heard two or three tracks, but the sound is really full. The low end's there, the drums are loud, everything's great. Everything that should make this, everything that you love about Whitesnake, especially current Whitesnake, is in this record, but they're singing the purple tunes, which is kind of cool. Uh, so check it out. Like I said, the digital and CD versions uh, do have a whole bonus disc uh, with some live stuff, uh, as well as some different mixes and uh, different versions of some of the songs on here. And also includes the four track demo that David Coverdell sent to Deep Purple uh, that got him the job. And even some, uh, I think the last track on the second CD is him tinkering around, tinkering around with some ideas uh, for the Stormbringer album. So again, check it out. Um, you know, really killer album, you know, really getting what, what could have been a killer album and wasn't at the time, in my opinion, gets a killer makeover. And now I'm super excited to hear this and I'm pretty stoked to have it in my White Snake vinyl collection. So that's all I've got for you this time. Like, comment, share, and subscribe below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we put out new content. I've got the rest of my unboxing the vinyl series where we open up new releases, reissues, box sets, whatever's coming out. Sometimes they're even CDs instead of records. It just depends. I've got the my Inside the Vinyl series where I talk about lost classics as well as live albums. I'm hoping to ramp that up again here pretty soon. Uh, I've got some live footage from some different concerts and festivals over the last few years. And uh, for any disc golf fans out there, I've got some very mediocre disc golf coverage or footage starring some very mediocre players like myself. So like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.